Hey, so last time I started talking about a major trend in higher education, the increasing specialization of majors, right? Your degree is meant to prepare you for a particular job, right? That's the line of thinking that we can see. Now, of course, there are many issues with this. One issue uh, is that, of course, this says nothing at all about foundational skills. So your degree doesn't provide you any credentials to indicate what kind of foundational skills, not just your job specific skills, but foundational skills you might have, right? Or worse, it's quite possible that your major being focused as it was on the qualifications for this particular job might not have been overburdened with training in foundational skills, right? But actually, that's not the major problem that I want to talk about. I think there's a bigger issue here, bigger even than that. I am more interested in the overall mindset, the assumptions about higher education that are betrayed by people who kind of go in for this line of thinking, right? When a student is considering a course of study, right, when they're deciding on declaring a major, what do they ask? What is the key question that almost all students these days ask, and their parents, of course, I'd add? They ask, what am I going to do with that? That is the essential question that I remember as a professor at a traditional school, I heard again and again and again, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this? Right? In my opinion, that is absolutely the wrong question to be asking. It's the wrong question. It betrays a very limited view of what education is. Right? Think about for a second what the question implies. What am I going to do with that? Do with that, right? As if your education, this four years of your life, is, is what is a tool, right? That's supposed to perform a particular task and you're trying to figure out what it is, like, as if your education was like a screwdriver or something, right? And maybe a strangely shaped screwdriver and you're trying to figure out what task you perform with it. Now, but we know, right? We know what task your college degree is meant to perform, right? Um, it's meant to give you a job, right? To help you get a job. That's the point of getting a college degree, right? Um, so to shift the metaphor a little bit, people tend to treat their degrees like a key, right? Your degree is like a key that's designed to open a door, right? And you know you got a good education if it opens the right door for you and gets you into the career that you want to get into. Now, look, this way of thinking is really understandable. Um, I, I, I get it. Education, college is really expensive these days, right? And so people are very understandably looking at the return on investment that they're going to get, right? What am I going to get for this if I spend all of this money and go into debt uh, for college? I get that. And that's only fair, right? And on another day, I will have the conversation about irresponsible and unsustainable tuition levels, but that's a different conversation. Today, I want to talk about how people are cheating themselves, by thinking about their college education this way. The problem isn't that your education should not be opening a door for you, right? The point is that it should do a lot more than just that. If you think, if that's how you think about your degree, you are settling for a very limited good. A key that opens one door might be really, really valuable. I mean, there's a moment, right, when that key is really, really valuable. But after you've gone through the door, what does the key do, right? It sits in your pocket doing nothing. The key is important briefly, and then it's done its job. You're finished with it, essentially, right? Um, this is why I think thinking about education like this, thinking about education as merely a key that's designed to open that career door, right? It is selling, selling yourself, and selling education, the education that you received, the education that you should be receiving, short, right? There is much more to it than this. And look, colleges are absolutely complicit with this, right? Colleges not only uh, understand when you ask this question, they encourage students to ask this question, and they pour a lot of resources in trying to give persuasive answers to that question, 
right, to show you what careers you can get into if you come to their school and get this degree. Even liberal arts schools, which are supposed to be operating on a different model, are increasingly shaping their curricula and degrees in these kinds of ways. This limiting, objectifying thinking is endemic to the higher education world. Next time, I'm going to talk about what I think is the right question to be asking about your education. Stay tuned.